extraordinary. Now we've got, uh, it looks like Yakolev on the front working for Bazayev. Bazayev is the better sprinter. Are they going to shut down the gap quick enough? Because Bettini wants to go for this sprint. They've got about 600 metres to go. Bruett looks over his shoulder. Still, Seller is in the right place. He's going to go around at 600. That's a long way up. He's got the legs. Is anybody going to try tracking him down? It looks like they've got it. Emanuele Seller. The young man from Panaria won a stage a couple of years ago in honour of Marco Pantani. Looks like he's going to take a, a run away from everybody else. And now Paolo Bettini winding it up with Bazayev on the right-hand side. Is, is he going to make it to the line? Oh, he's going to be swallowed. Arvidsson right on the wheel of Bettini. This is going to be very close. Can Arvidsson come around the outside? I think he can. I think Arvidsson's going to take this from Bettini. He is the CSC man, Pips. Paolo Bettini, the world champion, and for twice in a row, Bettini can't make it to the line in first spot. That was a super, super finish. I really thought that uh, Sella was going to spring a massive surprise then, but Arvinson moving himself. Yeah, race leader, we don't often see that, but he had to do it because otherwise he wouldn't have uh, well, held onto his jersey, and we see how close it was there at the finish. This is the uh, replay of the finish uh, with Emanuele Sella nipping out from behind the strong wheel of Pavel Brut. Uh, and Ma look how fast uh, Paolo Bettini was coming up against him. Kurt Arla Arvinson uh, going right onto the wheel of Paolo Bettini and making it quite difficult for Asan Bazayev to follow that wheel. Uh, Arvinson getting up to the back wheel of Bettini and just look how strong he was. Bettini eating up Emanuele Sella. Must have thought he had it in the bag at this point. And Arvison coming out from the slipstream and pipping Bettini to it. And Bettini looks over to his right thinking, oh, once again, it's gone again. I've done it again. Unfortunately for Bettini, he had to, you know, to start the sprint just that bit too early. And Arvison, uh, you know, in a very good position, but he was a little bit off the wheel. We see them when he touched off a of Bazef there. Uh, he was, you know, two bike lengths off, came back very, very strong. Uh, but when you come in the slipstream, you know, it gives that you know, little bit of recovery and certainly, you know, finish very, very strongly, as we can see here. Well, Cardinal Arvison. Oh, taking another victory away from uh, Paolo Bettini. <laughs> Poor lad. Uh, he sent some good results this year. He's a very co consistent uh, competitor, is Arvidsson. Won uh, the GP Herning earlier this year and uh, got a second in the GP Frankfurt. So he's had uh, a pretty good season so far, but he's peaking at the right time and he's a very good uh, domestique.